number station on 5890. We are anticipating quite a few people to gather with us here. We switch to LSB. Or USB. We can hear that AM signal, but once we turn on AM... Radio Maria comes through, or whatever her name is, doing the numbers. The number station is centered on this frequency. <laughs> but it's pretty wide. So yeah, number station. Uh, I never heard a Spanish one before, and I've never heard one jam a uh, AM station before. But so that was pretty cool. One thing about the number station that was kind of interesting was that it was at first centered at 5880, but then it moved up to 5883. Maybe to jam that AM station. Who knows? Fringe had a episode about number stations. It was pretty cool. Um, they ended up decoding it, but I don't remember what they decoded it for. And Call of Duty Black Ops also had some number stations in the campaign mode. There was some kind of submarine in the Gulf of Mexico, and the number stations were actually coordinates for targets uh, so the Russians can hit uh, America with their nukes. crazy thing about number stations is that nobody really knows what they are, what they're for, what they're saying in the, in the code of numbers, because the code number code is... Very hard to crack because it changes all the time and this and that. Who knows what they are? I bet the people who do know will have to kill you after they tell you. But before I got on the radio, I was a bit disappointed because there's an aurora out tonight. Well, not if there's clouds in the way. As a matter of fact, a few days ago or a day ago or today or actually pretty much all this week, there's been solar flares. The biggest one has hit an 8 on the scale from 1 to 9 of the K, for the K index. And what the K index is, is a number that tells you how strong a solar flare is or how strong the emissions coming from the sun are at any given time. Most of the time it's at 1. But when a solar flare happens, it's, it goes up. And on a scale from 1 to 9, 8 is pretty darn high. So it is pretty darn strong. What happens during solar flares is that the energy from the flare is absorbed into the atmosphere. What this causes is the aurora. Another pretty nasty side effect is radio blackout, as well as blackout in the electrical world and satellite world. See, with all that energy, some of it gets through the atmosphere. And once it gets through the atmosphere or into a satellite that's above the atmosphere, it screws circuits up and it screws the ionosphere up, which is that covering that, that radio mirror that enables ham radio operators to communicate around the world. When a solar flare happens, it does one of two things. It either gets rid of the ionosphere, basically not get rid of it, but make it to where radio signals won't bounce as well, or it amplifies it. For example, sporadic E has been going pretty well for the past couple days because it's the sun has been ionizing through the atmosphere, and what sporadic E is is, a, is the lowest layer, or the second lowest layer, of the ionosphere that allows some pretty high frequency skip to happen. For example, 50 megahertz or six meters. But all in all, I thought I was gonna get to see a aurora tonight, but no, it's gonna storm. But anyway, hold on. Before you click off the video, go to the next video or click out because you're bored out of your mind, I have a question for you. What kind of ham radio videos do you wanna see? Being the youth editor, I do a lot of things to promote youth in ham radio, but not only do that, I also promote ham radio to the general public. Unfortunately, the general public is too savvy about ham radio because they tend to use their mobile devices and computers to get their messages from one point to the other. But in the ham radio world, we take a much more untechnical approach. Anyway, I'm just wondering, 
What would you like to see on a ham radio video? You want to see more youth in action? You want to see something like, how do I get licensed? How do I study? What do I need to know? Or do you want to see like action on the radio, like number stations, uh, contesting, uh, rag chewing, static and antennas and all these things that have to do with ham radio or perhaps satellites? I can do that too. So stick a comment down there and subscribe up there and I'll get right to it. So I'll say thanks for watching in 73 from N0SSC.